climb is sort of monkey-esque, right? I really like... Okay, actually, I never finished it, so I should not start talking about this anime. <laughs> it is, like, notorious for being spoiled when I myself have not finished it, and perhaps I'm, like, saying a, a spoiler just by mentioning it. I really like the... It's a slight spoiler. I really like the monkey in Attack on Titan. That's all I'll say. I would like it if, if it was this, but you play as the, the monkey. <laughs> they finished it, right? The anime is done now? For real, for real? I should watch it. They did. It's actually done. It's weird because I remember when that anime came out. <laughs> So long ago. It was so long ago. I was watching it when like the first two seasons were coming out. And I remember I thought it was I thought it was crazy. And I was watching the Levi X Petra AMVs. <laughs> Same. <laughs> what tell her? Do you think I didn't finish season two? Or maybe you're referring to something else. Actually when I stopped watching, things were quite uncertain. But you know, we'll see. I should finish it. But do I have to like rewatch everything? I don't know. I don't even remember where I left off. I guess it was at the end of a season, season four maybe. I don't remember. But I feel like people didn't talk about it that much. Or at least maybe I just wasn't paying attention. Maybe it's because <laughs> we got baited so many times into thinking that it was gonna be over that when it finally ended, no one realized that it was actually over. Probably the real fans noticed. I guess I'm not a real Attack on Titan fan. It's probably fair <laughs> to say. Did I have a favorite character? I mean, it's probably like Levi, but like, I don't want to say that. He's like one of the most popular anime dudes of all time. And I'm a contrarian, so I don't want to say that it's Levi, but like, it's probably Levi. I mean, it's not going to be Aaron. Although I do think he got more popular. <laughs> Levi's cool, I guess. I like the Levi statue. I like when Levi cleans. I like when he stepped on that guy. Who else did I like? I liked, I forgot her name. And I, if I call her other name, it's like a spoiler. <laughs> I mean, the whole character is kind of a spoiler. She is the one with black hair, an, kind of un, unruly hair. What's her name? No, not Ymir. The one who... Peek! Wait, how did you say her name? Peek? Peek? Yes, her. I liked her. <laughs> peek is peek. Except her, you know, her other form. <laughs> like, I'm like trying not to spoil it, but it's like so spoilery. Her other form really freaked me out. I didn't... I hated it. So honestly, the, I was expecting to hate her, her, period. Then I really liked her. Her Maho Shoujo form, exactly. Her Maho Shoujo form was very creepy and scary and I did not like it. <laughs> but I like her. I think she's cute. She's a magical girl. She is. She's a magical girl. I can fix her. When is uh? When can we? Okay, I shouldn't say this because I don't want to see spoilers for the end. But Attack on Titan is such like a meme-worthy anime. I feel like just from like start to finish, just everything about it. No, 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 no. It's like so strange, and then it like completely pivots and becomes like a totally different show. And I feel like the. The writers did not know what was in the basement <laughs> for like the first to however many seasons. And then they were like, oh, I know. I figured it out. I know what's in the basement. And then they, they made the rest of it. <laughs> but like the fact that it went so long, the fact that it was supposed to end and it, it didn't for like three seasons, it was like the finale part one, part two, part three, the final season part one. The final season, first season, the yeah. final season, yeah. second season, the final season, third season. It's just everything about it. And just like the whole premise. I don't know. I remember when it came out, I was like so disturbed. I was like, how could they do this? How could they make an anime about this? That's so dark. How could they make an anime about giant people who eat people? And I feel like they didn't even know how to make this anime. <laughs> They were like going somewhere 
in the first few seasons and then they were like, oh, I don't know where we go from here. And they're like, okay, let's just go wild then. Just completely change it. OMG <laughs> spoiler, OMG oh, spoiler, it's about giants who eat people. It's a mecha anime? Kind of. I guess I can't really argue with that. If Ava is a mecha anime. But if if Attack on Titan is going to be like an immortalized meme anime, then I feel like there needs to be... We need to come to terms with the fact that it will be spoiled. When can we start spoiling? Well, not yet because I haven't finished it. The answer is when I watch it. That's when we can spoil it. And I would prefer that we have this standard for everything. If I have watched it, then it can be spoiled. And if I have not watched it, then it cannot be spoiled. I think that's fair. <laughs> Although that's, there's gonna be a lot of stuff that can never be spoiled. <laughs> no, maybe even I can't agree to this though. Cause there are some things that should never be spoiled that I have watched or like played or read. Like Odd Taxi, Outer Wilds, Dumbledore Dies, etc. Wait, Dumbledore Dies? Oh no. I'm getting him confused with Gandalf. It's Gandalf who dies. Dumbledore could never die, right? Wait, no, it wasn't Gandalf. He came back to life. It was Ganondorf who never dies. No, 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 no. I don't know. What does Ganondorf have in common with Gandalf? I don't even know anything about Ganondorf, except that he's really slow in Super Smash Brothers. They both use magic. Wait, Ganondorf uses magic? I thought he's like a fighty boy. What magic does he use? Like magic sword? Battle mage? Only in Smash. They both have swords. Dumbledore has a sword. Are there warlocks in Harry Potter? But actually, you're not allowed to say. You're not allowed to spoil it because I haven't read Harry Potter or watched Harry Potter. So it does not fall under the category of can be spoiled. Oh no. And I'm probably not going to read it either. So <laughs> I did watch some of the Harry Potter movies. Cause they were very popular and it would always be at like a sleepover. It would be like, oh, let's watch a movie. And then they would decide to watch a Harry Potter movie, but it would just be like a random one. <laughs> so I think I watched like the sixth movie like three times. And then that's like the only one I've watched. I watched the one where they go underwater. It's like, I think it's the, the goblet. You hate Goblet of Fire? I think it was that one. Do they go underwater in that one? Oh, that's the fourth one. I watched that one, I think like three times. And I think that's like the only one. Edward is there, it's true. Oh, I can't wait to watch the next Twilight movie. I'm back in my Twilight era. I'm thinking about reading the books. That's how you know it's bad. I'm in too deep and I kind of want to read Midnight Sun. And I kind of want to read the gender swapped one. We get Lady Edward. What's her name? Ed, Edwina. Oh no. <laughs> Edwardina. Edwina and Bello. <laughs> Edna. She can't be called Edna. There are lines you don't cross. Come on. You can't tell me you don't want a sexy vampire lady to watch you in your sleep who sparkles? You don't want to? Then we will never understand each other. If you don't want that, then we can never understand one another. We are simply too different. <laughs> it's Serana, exactly, it's Serana. You know how I felt about Serana, how I feel. You want a cool vampire GF? You're saying Edward's not cool? I do think it's really funny how- Okay, we're talking about Twilight again. It's not good. I think it's really funny how Edward is like, I'm a killer, Bella. I'm bad news. I'm bad. I'm a bad boy. And then he like proceeds to like drop everything to do anything for her. Like bend over backwards to make sure she's safe and do absolutely anything that she needs. I'm bad news, Bella. No! You don't want to get wrapped up with me. Cause then you'll have a 100 year old powerful vampire on your side who can read minds that will do absolutely anything to protect you and ensure that you're safe. And that would just be horrible. But now imagine instead of Edward, you have like Serana, 
who every time I hear her name, I still think of serrano peppers. But that's fine. They're both spicy hot. Ha ha ha. <laughs> she is a spicy pepper. I don't know. Serana like lives in a castle where there's like human yeah. <laughs> human livestock. Yeah. That's, that part's pretty disturbing. Is she okay with that? I don't remember. But then Bella is like, I killed criminals so that I could eat. And Serana is like, oh yeah, I live in a castle with human cattle. What about it? I'm a vampire. Wait, yeah, does that mean we get Lady Jacob too? I didn't even think about it. That's because in my version of Twilight, Jacob doesn't exist. Sorry, Jacob. Nothing against, well, a little bit against Jacob. <laughs> Actually, not nothing against Jacob, a little bit against Jacob. I, I, don't, want, I don't want him in my Twilight story. I'm not into the whole love triangle thing. And I'm definitely not into the whole stuff that happens in Breaking Dawn at the end. Could do without all that. It plays Jacob with a pet dog. Oh, and then it's like Edward is like allergic to dogs. But he's like, Bella is like, no, I'm not getting rid of my dog for you. Absolutely not. And then Edward just has to be allergic, I guess. Worse? That's worse? I don't think that's worse than what Edward went through. He can go get like the shot, the dog allergy shot, and then he'll be fine. I don't know if it works on vampires though. Maybe Bella could just get a cat then. See, now I feel like I have to know what the gender swap Twilight is like. When did it come out? I feel like I never heard like anything about it. I remember Midnight Sun because it got leaked and I remember that was like a big deal. Better than the original? I mean, it makes sense that Stephanie Meyer would have honed her craft over the years, right? Can I use my feet? No, no, why would you do that? Why would I fall? No. It's because I'm talking about Twilight again, isn't it? It's just on my mind lately. What can I say? 2024 is the year of Twilight. It's been decided by council. It is. Narissa is, well, I wouldn't say a bad influence, but you might say that. I would say a good influence. You know, I was a little sheepish in the Twilight watch alongs at first. Like, oh, haha, yeah, who would, who would, who would like Twilight? Yeah. <laughs> so, so cringe. Haha. Uh -huh. Vampires, you, right? You. But then seeing Narissa so open about it, for better or for worse, she embraces her cringe. It's good to embrace your cringe. I showed Narissa to let me say your Twilight Ambi. No, wait, I should show it to her. Hold on. <laughs> I'm just gonna send it to her with no context. She's gonna tell me that she's already seen it. It's in her playlist. <laughs> There's no context. Beauford, Bo Swan, and Edith Cullen. Edith. I guess it makes sense that she has an old lady name. 